to start by thanking all of you for your support on the channel it really means the world guys you have no idea without you I would not be doing what I'm doing so thank you so much so I have a quick reading here for you guys and it's using the tarot of sexual magic as well as the fairy tarot I just find that the messages in the fairy tarot are so beautiful and gentle so let's dive right into it with the Knight of Swords, and Swords is air energy, so if that resonates for any Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, it might mean something to you in particular. So the Knights are about taking action. Unlike the Knave or the Pages in the deck, they're not on any type of new path where they're thinking about possibilities or they're moving with blind faith. The Knights are very much aware of what it is they'd like to do. They want to make an impact, and that's what I feel like he's saying clearly in this card. He's wanting to claim her. I hear him saying she's mine. So it's a very passionate card and I can tell that <laughs> this feeling for the masculine, it's not going anywhere. It's almost like it's just getting started. If we move over into the Emperor card, he's going all the way for this Divine Feminine. It's like he's jumping through all kinds of hoops just to be with you and he's wanting to do this. He feels good about being decisive. Um, because you know the emperors are leaders, they're, they're born leaders, they manifest things into their reality very quickly and when they're sure about something, or in this case someone, which is their queen of wands right there beside them, they're going to be very strategic. If you've been maintaining really clear strong boundaries feminine, I feel as though your masculines are coming in quick. And I think that it's important for us to set those boundaries and hold them in place while also holding that space for this person that we genuinely and truly love because that's the thing about the Twin Flame connection. It's like that deep love is there regardless and the only thing we can do is go up from this point because resisting and denying and staying stuck in a lot of the hurt and pain without transmuting or transforming it is a hard place to be in and so when we set those boundaries and we're able to walk away from behaviors within the masculine that simply don't serve us we're demonstrating love in the most unconditional form there is which is love for self and he's transforming into the emperor because of this warmth and forgiveness and this type of passion it's maturing him in the sense because with the four on the emperor card as well he's also wanting to provide a lot of stability and for me fours are about having security you know and in this case with the wands and the sword showing up he wants to have stability over his thoughts and his spirit because everything within him lets him know that this connection is more than just the physical attraction and so your masculines are not wanting to let you out of his sight. You're not making any apologies for living authentically and being in your truth. You know, and if you really look at her, she's undressing herself while he sits there, like the perfect gentleman, just observing her. Because at this point, he's, he is being very strategic and cautious, and she's appreciating that. <laughs> it's almost like I feel her saying, are you gonna come help me take off this dress, or? or what the feminine setting boundaries is transforming the masculines by wanting them to take action and having them create a lot more stability not only within the connection but within their own lives as well i feel like this has been missing for them for a really long time i'm just getting that they're very grateful for the feminine's presence in their life at this current period no matter what it is you're going through in your connection even if there's no physical contact your masculines are deeply grateful for you in their space. All right, well, I hope this reading resonates and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.